Um, graph and post. Um, God, what happened? He 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 posted Kinoche's email address or something. Graph. Graph really frustrates me because it's like, I I don't want to. I don't want to like look a gift horse. Gis <laughs> I do not want to look a gift horse in its mouth. However, um, I have I, I've been reluctant to move off of post, even though a lot of people have asked me to, uh, because the the cool kid instance is now chudbuds.lol. And Graf continues to have these blowups at people where he's just like, fuck you, you know, you're a fake friend. And then he's talking about how he's crying and shit and how people are making him cry. And it's like, and then he doxes random people when he like tries to, to look at IP records that he says he doesn't keep to try and like ID people's geography. And it's like, you know, if, if I, if I handle things like that, the Kiwi Farms would not have made it as as long as it has. Nobody would trust me with their billing information and billing address. It's not a way to. You, sometimes you just have to, you just have to let people get away with shit. I I learned this lesson really early on in the Kiwi Farms. There was a guy who has long since moved on. He did not like me. His name was Obamatron. Um, he really, he, he tried to make like a, a Josh wiki and an anti quickie forums. He tried to like make me into like a locale or whatever. And there were a couple people on the site. And the thing was, is that he donated to me to buy true and honest through PayPal back when we had tr PayPal to give you an idea of how long ago, this was like nine years ago. So he, he me having his PayPal means I have his name, I have his phone number, I have his email address. I have his, um, uh, his actual mailing address because they give you all that information when you buy anything off PayPal. And I knew even then as a 20 year old running a forum for the first year that I was around that if I use this information against this guy, even though he's being a total asshole to me, people would not trust me with their billing information because why would they? You know, they would think, well, if, if he does it to this guy, you know, why wouldn't he do it to me if something else happens? So you can't do that to people. You can't betray the trust, even if they really, really deserve it. Um, in your mind, at least, because it's, it's, it's a total fucking blunder. And if, if you want to be selfish about it, if you don't really care about, you know, the, the ethics of doing that, you have to look at it selfishly too, from a selfish perspective, it's a good idea to recruit the goodwill of people and be like, um, I could do this, but I choose not to. Even if you're, even if you're, if you don't really believe, like, if if you're a um, a Max Stirner moral relativist, moral abolitionist type, and you think whatever, whatever is moral is whatever I can get away with, um, it, it would still behoove you to act in a what is considered an ethical way because the long-term benefits of that are immense. So graph graph has issues. He is bipolar. Um, he has a, a poor approach to diplomacy. He watches anime and I think he probably drinks too much. So these are all bad ingredients to being in a position of power over people. And me saying that might get my account deleted, which I, I've been cautious to approach this topic at all until we were in a more stable position because um if telegram goes down then i'd be on post and i guess now i would have to redirect people to chudbuds.ll if he bans me it's just, it's just he was threatening to defederate the kiwi farms.cc instance and his stated reason for doing so is that one of the the users on the site is married to is is like a alt right type um like he posts alt right memes is like an alt right guy you know just whatever he uses like alt right Twitter you know how that's like during 2016 there were all these accounts that were conservative and he was married to a woman who had a big nose so ha ha isn't it funny that this woman that he's married to has a big nose and has curly hair she looks very Jewish and Crunk Lord 
who adds every fucking image that you ever ask him to as an emoji to the kiwi farms at cc instance adds nose which is just a picture of her nose and with no context you would have no idea what this is except the nose but it was the nose of this woman who was married to a guy who was a poster and post and the post has a no doxing rule so he says, I have to defederate the Kiwi Farms for having the nose emoji because it doxes the wife of one of my users. And I tell him, like, bro, that's fucking dumb. Because nobody would know that Borzoi was doxed and his wife was an emoji unless you made a big deal out of it. Just ignore it. Why would you ever confirm this information is real? You can't, like, look at Rambot. We have, we have this motherfucker dead to rights and he still denies it. And that's the smart thing to do. Just keep fucking denying it over and over again. Because, you know, that, that, that leaves a little bit of a benefit of a doubt. Go at this like a convicted murderer. Just deny it until you're to the grave. Why would you ever come out and, and confirm the information is true by freaking out about it? But and, and what's even crazier than that is that um, the at the time that he literally banned, not only did he ban Crunklord from post, he defederated Crunk, Crunklord's instance, which was just his in, like he banned Crunklord had his own single person's Fediverse instance, which is popular among tech people who want like a vanity domain. Um, he bans his, he defederates his one person instance because he hates Crunklord that much. And Crunklord is the nicest guy. Like, Crunklord is so nice that when we started using the Fediverse, he managed to get Kanini, the, the freaky Swedish bunny tranny, from freaking out for months and months by playing Diplomat um, to try and keep the Fediverse from, from splintering. Uh, and somehow he was not able to talk graph out of, of this shit. And the, fed, the our fucking instance has been down for months now. Months. Months. And he's still angry about it because there's a possibility that when it comes up, Crunk Lord is not going to remove this instance. So he's defederating an, an instance that has been dead for months because it it has it has this threatening image that's inaccessible. It's it's just crazy, man. And the like this is also a good explanation of why I don't I don't give a fuck about the doxing shit because what happens now? Um, pe people go on to to post and they try to like tempt people into doxing them because then they'll report the people doxing them and get them banned from posts because it's a rule. Uh, like there's so much like gay drama and infighting that comes with with such a rule that you have to like protect people against themselves. It's it's, it's hopeless. He reversed himself. Well, he broke up with Borzoi. Borzoi gave up and left the instance, so now Graf doesn't like him anymore. And then he reverses on it and says, now the nose is fine. It's like, you have to be consistent. Is it doxing or no doxing? It's not just doxing people you don't like. That's not a rule. Because then it's it's a, like a like a parallel system, and it creates inequity, and it creates problems. When you have an equity, you have problems. So either you have to be consistent. A rule has to be bullion. Is it against the rule or is it not against the rule? A, a person of average or below average, especially below average intelligence, should be able to figure out if what is if something is against the rule or not. Below intelligence people are the users of most websites, okay? They have to be able to take a post and analyze it against a single sentence that represents a rule, a concept. And you can't litigate it. You can't say, like, um, you, you can't go to rule court and be like, hmm, well, the language of the rule does not explicitly prohibit. Like, no, it's a feeling. Is this against the rule? Is it not against the rule? What are you trying to accomplish with a rule? What kind of environment are you trying to create with a rule? The rules do not represent a law. It's not like a, a law where you go to court and you have um, lawyers and you discuss, you know, the, the actual written law. It is a feeling. It's an expression of, of what kind of community you're trying to have. 
So when you have a rule that you don't enforce evenly, then what you're saying is that this community is my bitch. They're, they're, they will do what I like and they will not do what I don't like because when I um, don't like something, I'll ban you for it. And if I do like something, I'll promote you for it. And that's not the kind, like most people are not going to want to promote or be a part of a community where there's such a clear delineation between the cool kids and the not cool kids. Like nobody has time for that shit anymore. We got out of high school when we were 18. We're not, we're adults now. We, we don't want to um, play favorites. Uh, so like, and that's like, that's, that's shit that you learn when you, when you host something is stuff that you should be figuring out and saying like, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to create a community for people who like anime and who want like a, an easygoing comfy, you know, comfy is the word that people like comfy, friendly things. Like, okay, well, if that's the case, then don't have so much fucking drama. If you're trying to create a, com a comfy server where people talk about their hobbies in a way that's not moderated by social justice warriors, then do that. But you have to litigate your, you know, moderate your, your policies in such a way that it creates that atmosphere. And you have to lead by example. Um, and that's the hardest part. It's, it's one thing to create rules. It's another thing to, like, show people what kind of, of post you want them to have. And the biggest one that I'm a, I'm a, the biggest thing that I rule break on is I love to post shitty reaction images. And I have to say like, I'm posting a reaction image, but you don't get to do this. <laughs> you, I, if I see a reaction image post that I don't think is funny, I will delete it. But when I post it, it's always funny. So fuck you. And what's a lot of pedo friendly community. Yeah. The lollicon shit is like, it's a whole other thing. It's a whole other thing. It's it's very annoying. It's very annoying. I like Raph. He's tried to help, um, and he has helped. But there are there are things that he should be rapidly learning at this point in time. He should be understanding how people react to being treated a certain way, when the appropriate time to post the messages. If he should be drinking, <laughs> if he should be doxing, like Kinoche is one of the least likable people I have ever seen. He he exudes this sort of arrogant, smug bullshit. He thinks he's really fucking funny, and he's not. This guy is an is a midwit who thinks that he is just God's gift to man. And it's just the funniest person to ever exist. And you're just like, who the fuck are you? Why are you posting like this? Why do you think people care about you? You're, you're a nobody. Please fuck off. Um, so I can understand why people fuck with them. It's just, but like, if you're an admin on, on the big website, you can't, you just can't, you, it's, 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 it's an ironic thing. You make a website and you think like, I want to I want to make a website that I want to use. I want to make a website that's fun. I want to make a website that that has the stuff that other communities are missing and that I enjoy. But then in doing so, you end up making a community that you can't fully participate in um because you have to set an example and you have to um use it correctly. And and part of using a website is shitting all over the place and making a mess. Um but you can't do that yourself as a moderator cuz then people are going to if you don't have respect for your own website, why should they even pretend to on the best of times? Kino is misunderstood. Kino shit makes a lot of people mad. East slubs hate him. Wonder why? I don't know. Every time I see a post from him, I think, wow, what a faggot. And then I ban him. <laughs> He's two for two on that one. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.